Welcome to Arizona State University's University Academic Success Programs. This video will cover the topic Mean Value Theorem. What is the significance of the Mean Value Theorem? The Mean Value Theorem is one of the most important theoretical tools in calculus. It states that if f of x is defined and continuous on the closed interval a comma b and differentiable on the open interval a comma b then there is at least one number c in the interval a comma b such that f prime c equals to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a where a is less than c is less than b let's try to explain this in another way. Now, suppose that you have a planar arc between two endpoints. So now that we have an arbitrary planar arc, let's draw a secant between its endpoints A and B. In such a case, the theorem states that there should be at least one point on the arc at which the tangent is parallel to the secant through its endpoints. Now let's draw out the parallel tangent and let's mark the point C on the arc through which the tangent passes. Now let's do an example to make this more clear. Now let's consider the function f of x equals to x square in the interval 0 comma 2. As we can see a rough sketch of the function has already been graphed out. Is the function continuous in the interval 0, 2? Yes, the function is continuous in the interval 0, 2, as we can see from the graph. The function is also differentiable in the interval 0, 2, as we can see that there are no breaks or kinks in the graph. Therefore, f prime x equals to 2x. Now let's try and find out the point C on the arc at which the tangent should be parallel to the secant between its endpoints. In this case, the endpoints are the x-axis coordinates 0 and 2. So we are going to use the equation discussed above to find the point C. Hence, f prime of C equals to f of 2 minus f of 0 divided by 2 minus 0 which gives us 2c equals to 4 by 2 and that implies that c equals to 1. Hence our desired point has an x coordinate of 1 and therefore the corresponding y coordinate is 1 from the relation f of x equals to x squared. Therefore the desired point is 1 comma 1. Okay, so I think I understand the concept now. The mean value theorem is used to find the points on the arc at which the tangents are parallel to the secant between the endpoints of the arc, as was demonstrated by the example. The conditions for finding such points are that the arc has to be continuous and differentiable over the given interval. The coordinates of these points can be found using the f prime of c equals f b minus f a divided by b minus a expression given above. Yes, that is correct. You got it right. 